Oh, it's gonna get real wild. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, Andy. Time to get up. <laughs> it's only a box. It's not a box. Gotta have it. I've been around lots of his fire. No, <laughs> Say that now. <laughs> Give it a minute. Oh, no, it's really good. Wow. <laughs> you notice how some people got up the minute that box went on there? It's because we know. <laughs> we know what happens when he does that. <laughs> when I say the shit's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Yeah, it's gonna hit the van, alright. I know. That was like, oh, good, because I needed that. Oh, yeah. I need to turn around. <laughs> My backside's been cool. Wow, okay, now we're all warmed <laughs> up. Your back cool. Our story's here. Yeah. 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 I want to make it the nice of the people were a tissue. Yeah. Well, you can put like taking a shot of high energy. Yeah, yeah. 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 high energy. And the way you have pressure on you is great. Who's the next person who would like to share their story? I think we were on Julie, weren't we? We were on Julie. Up next. Up next in the show. Look out! Yeah, Actually, no mods. <laughs> Up next in this circle is sharing is my girlfriend Julie Tooley. Yeah. Woo! Julie! Julie. 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 Let's hear your story. I think we all. I don't know. It's still pretty damn hot. Oh God, that is hot. Not yet. Huh? Not yet. Oh. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. All right, Julie. Well, the absolute first thing I can say is I'm glad I didn't burn up in that little. <laughs> I'm really happy about that. Yeah, um, living it is, yeah, surviving yeah, is like, important. If you weren't there, you wouldn't know what I'm talking uh -huh. about. It was a good time. Well, I myself am, am about 64, I think, last I checked, and um, the home that I live in no, is paid oh, for. Oh, some years later. Oh, 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 yeah, time? Oh, no. It's and like lighting up my tits. I had to make a choice. <laughs> I could either have this thing back up, and it would cover my head, and it would cover my head, and then I got it covered with a lot more money. I was trying to run from the plane. Oh, okay. That's okay. I, I put it on the ground because there's a screwdriver okay. there. Oh, okay. yeah. And do something different, which is Sorry. what I did. And, and I bought this van, and I got payments okay. now. Okay. So, but the good the good news is I have payments, but I have my life. Right. Mm -hmm. If I stayed where I was to fix this place, then I would lose my life to have shelter. So I had to make a call, and my call was... I'd rather be rolling down the highway, mm -hmm. not knowing where I'm going, than living in a place that I'm familiar with. So my choice was to, to be mobile and let the house fall down. Because it would cost too much to keep it standing. And uh, I wouldn't take it back for nothing. And, and, and I, there ain't no going back. I don't need to. I don't want to. And I am an artist, and what I do is I mm -hmm. I do Sometimes. what I do in God's grace to help others and, and to do the best I can to help anyone. My whole purpose on life is to help others. Uh -huh. And to heal and help. I covet rocks. Just know that. Uh, <laughs> I have a weakness that's uh -huh. greater than me. I see her it's, collection. It's rock. Uh -huh. She rocks. Yeah, and they, they make me really <laughs> like that, 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 And I have to resist it. <coughs> this beautiful lady put out some jewelry today that just made me go crazy inside and out. I like to broke both legs to get over there. <laughs> and then again it hit me, you know, what I got to deal with every day is something that I find to be beautiful, which is rocks and, and this thing called putting one thing against the other and, and stringing it and creating something that is beyond my understanding. Julie 
is an incredible artist. I've seen her work personally um, when I, I was fortunate enough to be invited to her home base. And I stayed there, I saw all her work, and her work is very moving. You look at that, and it comes alive on, on, the, on the walls because it's abstract. So when you look at it from certain angles, you see certain things, and then when you turn, it kind of changes with the light and everything. It's just it's like a box. It's like a box. Art. You know how a box changes all the time? Yeah. Yeah. Her art is fascinating. Oh, oh, so I was never trying to start to be immediately when I saw it. Another time in court. But that's, that's what I do. I, I, I put things together. Not like everybody else can do things. Everybody has the And mine is on the canvas. And when it goes there, I have to find its home. It's a job. Yeah. It's a private effort to find its home. And, and, and that's my job because it, it, it has healing purposes. Yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> a gift to the world. Yeah. For art, it's yes. a gift to the world. In a I admire that because I don't have that. I'm more like oh, numbers. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. We're learning more about everybody here in this circle. Who would like to be next? Mike. Mike. All right. All right. Mike. Wow, he's even going to stand to tell us. I can't lie about my name. You gave it away. So I'm Mike. Uh, let's see. I started this about a month ago. I have a van and a short little trailer over there. Um. Let's see, when I was 14 years old, my parents bought a Class C motorhome, which is short for chassis mount, that's what a Class C is. We had a butane uh, heating system, and uh, we went to the beach every weekend. We went roughing it in the, the backwoods, you know, I and mean, we did the same thing when I was 14. And uh, my wife passed away in May, nobody, please. And so my wife passed away in May, and I decided I don't need the house. I don't need that car because I'm not taking her to get meds or anything. So I left it all behind, took a little bit of cash, about 17000 when I left. Oregon, that's where I live now. And uh, bought the trailer and drove back to Florida to pick it up. I was hit by a car that was doing 65 miles an hour t bone me. Uh, punctured my lung and fractured everything on this side. And uh, it took me just about a year, I guess, to heal, you know, but I'm all right. I mean, I'm 66, and I'm healing at this rate because I try to take care of my skin. I'm originally from Los Angeles. I spent the first 53 years of my life there. And yes, there are native Californians. It's not, you know, a joke. Um, and when our son went to college uh, at the University of Oregon in Eugene, and he would only come home once every six months with that laundry load that mom had to wash so I could take off and see all his friends and then come back to pick it up and go back to college. And uh, we got tired of that and mom's really missing her boys. So we uh, sold the house and went up there and paid cash and lived well for quite a while. Uh, I still love it up there. And I think the only thing that separates us in the Pacific Northwest from all of this is the fact that we have a house but if we step outside of our house, yeah, we're really in all of it. You know, it's about as natural an environment as you're going to see. If you've never been to Oregon, then of course you live there. Yeah. If you've never been to Oregon, you got to come up and visit, guys. It's some really it's a dog. It's gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, there are more trees than people in cars. You know, and they just want to have more trees. Yeah, we don't worry about people hitting us with their trees. It doesn't matter, you know. So, but come on up. We'd love to see you up there, and uh, I'm going to love to see you up there. And I know Eric's up in Washington. Uh, you landed there a few days ago. How he ever got through without snow, I don't know, but he's a lucky man. So uh, he's enjoying himself up there, and in a way, I wish I was up there. Uh, I left there because there was no sunshine, and I have a solar system. You know, it doesn't make sense. Uh, but... Based on what I'm seeing of his videos right now, for, I'd go there. For what? Huh? Five months? <coughs> oh, no, you get the sunshine about five months. You get uh, rain about seven, you know. But there's got to be a reason why it's so great. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what makes yeah. it green. But it's right. So can I sit down now? All right. <laughs> All right. All right. Mike. Yes, Mike. All right.
my thanks you. so much for sharing. It's just so incredible <clears throat> learning about everybody. Yes, this was yeah. a great idea. Mm -hmm. Thank you for initiating this. this no problem. Awesome. I think it's a fascinating thing. Oh, we miss, I mean, sure. we miss one though. We, we, had, we got a new one. We, we can't let him do buy. Romeo? We got, we got to circle back <laughs> or we, you know, we got to do something. <laughs> we can't let Romeo get away. Me right there. And then there's somebody to yeah. No, no, you know, I specifically yeah, made a video on my channel so I wouldn't have to do public speaking anymore. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're here. You're, you're amongst a circle of like, um, like minded individuals. Well, yeah, I know, but I'm just not a public speaker. <laughs> you get to not even I, I'm Butterfly, for those of you who don't know, <laughs> and I'm originally from New York. Unfortunately, I was born there, so it was an accident of birth, uh, about 20 minutes south of Canada. Okay, Adirondack style. And yeah, right across the uh, Champlain Bridge, or Champlain, Lake Champlain is Vermont. Okay. In Burlington. Yeah, yeah, so it's as far yeah. northeast as you can get without leaving New York State, pretty much. Yeah, it's gorgeous up there. Okay. But uh, I can't stand it, honestly. Yeah, I mean, it's kind <laughs> That's of why I'm strange, now but... officially from Texas. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, Texas. That, I am a Texas <laughs> resident. <laughs> so am I. So, and I love it. Because I was always a southern girl <laughs> at heart. All right. There, are you happy Thank now? You. <laughs> Thanks, Butterfly. <laughs> now I'm blushing. Awesome. So does anybody right. else who wants to share? Yeah. You share? I'm Come up into the light. <laughs> so I'm Oshin. 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 Wow, that's really okay, unique. I'm Oshin more. I can't hear you over here. I'm Oshin. Oshin. More formally, Sir Oshin, Elf Child, Illuminate at your service. <laughs> and uh, I understood that I was a freak at an early age, and that I just really wanted to spread the good word of uh, joyfulness. But I grew up in New York City, Ooh. and so that was contrary to the program there. So I escaped in 2001 four days before the towers fell uh, in my wow. first Suburban which I bought to buy a camper I mean to buy just a box trailer and I was like I'm gonna go boondock in Montana because it's the place where the computer which is new in the late 90s like the new computers say that if I go to Montana there won't be people and so I was like I'm going there and like, there'll only be animals and, uh, and so, it was the lowest population density so I bought a Suburban with the intention of buying a trailer, which I never got. Um, and now I'm in a Suburban again. Uh, mm -hmm. My boondocking choice is a Suburban with a trailer mm -hmm. because I have the clearance to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. I have the power to pull anything. <laughs> and when I drop the trailer, I can really go like way back wow. into the land love and it. enjoy it. Love it um, love and it. plus I'm a pack rat, so I usually fill the Suburban mm -hmm. with stuff and want the trailer for a living. And uh, I like games, big board games. If anybody likes battlefield strategy games, you should tell me like tonight and we'll play tomorrow. Uh, come, back, come back Friday, they'll be here. Friday, great, great, great. Um, so anyway, uh, so in my time since then, I've traveled the country, I've been to 49 states. I've never really lived in one place more than nine months and those were mostly for like educational stints, massage school, like high angle rope rescue and EMT training, stuff like this. Um, and what I've chosen to do is to inspire people like us and other people and festival goers, especially young people that are just coming into college or just coming out of college who are really frustrated with the, the standards of our society. The uh, they know that they're being lied to and they're being cheated and they don't know what else to do and so I like to offer options and so I started a nonprofit called the Illumination Station with a K, Illumination Station because I'm an Illuminate. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so it's a nonprofit, and we do uh, we set up a geodesic dome at festivals, and before the uh, you know we book for the event, and then before the event we book presenters for workshops for like ten hours a day for two or three days, and uh, book staff mm -hmm. that volunteer and whatnot. So anyway, so we just travel around, going to festivals and uh, mm -hmm. having people share whatever they want mm -hmm. with other people as an educational process. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I just live out on the land as much as I can, and sometimes I live with girlfriends that don't want to live out on the land. And I'm like, well, I guess if I can live in your house and use your shower, I will for a while, because <laughs> that's nice, too. And, uh, like, respect to that. You know, cats, usually it's me or the cat, and the cat's going to win, so I just stick with the shower for a little while till I got to move. And, uh, 
So you yeah. You have a very interesting story. Yeah. A very I, interesting story. I, I try. Yeah, and, and the fact that you're involved in the nonprofit that that that's catering to to the folks, they, the kids they know something's wrong with yeah. society. Yeah. Yeah. Society. Our yeah. American society is broken. Yeah. Things are changing. It's ca capitalism is broken. Like it yeah. could be idealistic if we if it was an educated capitalist society yeah. where we not, all so. spent our dollar yeah. like we would cast a vote. But we got to go to Walmart to get certain things because otherwise we got to drive 80 miles and it's just not practical. So we make compromises, but it pisses people off. And so people know. You know, when you feel emotionally compromised every day just to go shopping, you know your society is broken. Yeah. And so we end up in the desert. Your, your story should be told somewhere and shared with more people. As well. You know, nonprofit and everything. I think you're doing great work. You know? Um, I have a channel. It's not that big, though. Also, has the biggest channel. Dang. Whoa, whoa. Who's got the biggest channel, yo? I want to have the biggest channel. One day, I'm going to have a biggest channel. I'll feature you unless Asha wants to feature you. I might. I might. Yeah. If I ever have the biggest channel, I'll feature all of you, too. Dude, I think it's a serious looming. But yeah, no, for sure, respect. Yeah. I, I think that uh, the masters that I've worked with, the masters of social engineering that I've worked with, the people who are making the biggest difference uh, in our society, their highest value is cooperative, cooperative. You know, like Nako and Medicine for the People, Wookie Foot, and Lead to Change Charities, like all these musical ventures that are bringing attention. Okay, so let's keep in touch so that um, I can figure out with Aja. Yeah. We'll feature you, but I think your you, your face and your um what you're doing should be put out there. Respect. Yeah. We'll okay. do it. All right. Awesome. Your name again? Ocean. Ocean. What a what a what a cool name and what a cool Isn't story. It? Wow. Ocean. Okay. All right. Right. <laughs> We're getting to know each other. <laughs> Don't let him get away. Don't let Romeo get away. Romeo. Romeo hasn't Romeo. gone yet. Romeo. Everybody Romeo. but you is gone. Yeah. That's right. Hey. <laughs> yeah. First time I've heard that. Yo, Jeff. <laughs> oh God, this one is. Anybody else would like to share? Yeah, Romeo. Romeo. You, didn't, Romeo. you want to do it or no? I don't really know what I'm doing. We just <laughs> tell, no, none of us do, man. It started with an accent and where you're from, and it ended up being a get to know you. Step up to the plate to tell your story. Your story. We did. Introduce people. You know, that party basically really got all that noise behind you. But it was, um, you know, they were me. Oh, you mean him? Oh, I mean, from that place, Jerry. One of the problems I have is trying to figure. To I hear different accents accent. from like different places, you know? Hi, I'm Aja, I'm from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and I'm a recovery alcoholic. Sometimes it's noise. Sometimes it's noise. I didn't know if you have that. That sounded pretty good. Yeah, I like this. It's kind of personal. What is your accent? I was born in Hawaii. I was born and raised in Hawaii, moved to California when I was 21 years old. Actually, I'm kind of sidetracked by being cold right now. And I was like, what the heck? And I don't want to get up before everybody's given their... Well, you better do something, because it's only going to get colder. Yeah. Well, hopefully, hopefully, if the last person talks, I can get up. Well, you better, you better do something quick, because, like I say, it's only going to get colder. I'm sure. It's warm up, and then take off and do what you need to do. That's what I thought. It's only the wind. The rest of it is pretty nice. It's going to get colder. Yeah, I know. I feel get, it. It's get colder before. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it'll get cold tonight too, uh, about 40 degrees. From that away, get my coat. 12 years in California. Uh, but I mean, I just have to. North I have Carolina. to just kind of work myself That's through stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and I, I don't know how to. We can't hear you over here, Romeo. California, and before that was North Carolina. What part of North Carolina? Mostly Charlotte, that area. My plates are in Greensboro. Greensboro? Yeah, I lived there three times now. Yeah. It's my most frequently uh, placed spot, although I don't really care. It's always trying to get <laughs> I have to go beyond. It's the place I've I have officially to, lived the most often oh, in the last like 18 there. years, but I don't really care for it. It's kind of ironic. Yeah, same here. It's just boring. Where are you from in California? 
What about? Whereabouts in California? San Francisco, Bay Area. Okay. Yeah, in the Bay Area. Yeah, yeah. In the Bay Area. San Fernando Valley. Los Angeles. That's my whole adult life. Yeah. Until the third. And then.